Welcome to your Intermediate Microsoft Office Excel 2007 course, created and designed by the Training Factor. Click on the Attachments menu in the upper right corner of your screen to download the attached workbook for this course. At the end of this course, you will be tested on the material and must score 70% or above to pass. This course is for educational purposes only. Please consult with your supervisor and legal counsel with regard to your policies, procedures, and conduct in the workplace. At the bottom of your screen, you will see some player controls. If you need to pause the course to take notes or for any other reason, click the pause button. To go back and watch a previous slide again, click the back button. Click continue when you are ready. In this course, you will learn some valuable beyond the basic skills for Excel 2007. We will be working with worksheets, creating and learning about charts, sorting and filtering data, using functions and formulas, and learning about printing options. Microsoft Excel is the most widely used spreadsheet application for good reason. And now, with the release of Microsoft Office 2007, Excel's more advanced features are even easier to use. Let's go ahead and get started with Lesson 1. Lesson 1. Working with Worksheets In this lesson, you will learn about the various Zoom settings, how to show and hide window elements, how to view multiple workbooks at a time, how to change views, how to split and freeze windows, how to color and copy worksheets, how to hide or unhide worksheets, and how to protect workbooks, worksheets, and cells. Let's begin by opening an Occupancy Data Excel file. The window automatically loaded to the default viewing options. You can change these options to fit your needs by going to the View tab. The default window loads at 100%. To make the workbook appear larger or smaller, you can click on the Zoom button, labeled with a magnifying glass. A dialog box will appear where you can select the percentage at which you wish to view the screen. You can choose from the most common ones listed to have it display the size that fits all of your data on the screen, or you can choose a custom percentage. Let's choose 75% for this example. As you can see, that choice made the data appear smaller so that more could fit on the screen. Let's go back to our default setting of 100%. This can be done quickly without going into the Zoom settings by simply clicking on the button to the left that says 100%. When we did that, the screen zoomed in to the center of the screen. To return to the top and left-hand side of the worksheet, use the scroll bars. Now that we are back to the default view, we can also zoom in to a specific range of cells that we would like to look at a little closer. For example, let's say we wanted to see the data for the first half of the year for all of the properties up through Emerald Cove. We would select those cells and then choose the option next to the 100% button that says Zoom to Selection. Now you can see all the data you needed zoomed in to fit the screen. Let's go back to Normal View. Excel has a number of different default screen aids which are often helpful, but in case you would rather not see those aids, you can use the Show Hide button. Perhaps you would rather not see the grid lines, just uncheck the box. Now your data is free of those lines. Or perhaps you aren't working with formulas and need more room on the screen. You can hide the formula bar at the top. For viewing your data only, this screen works just fine but both the grid lines and the formula bar can be helpful when editing your data, so let's put them back. We will just recheck those boxes. And now the screen is back to its default settings. Now it's your turn. Use your mouse to click on areas of the interactive screen.